pig Trudy is starting to come too, and she's having a really tough time. She's pretty wobbly, and she's pretty confused, and uh, she doesn't know why she's stuck in here. There's food around her, but she's probably not going to eat, and um, she keeps running into some walls and stuff. So I've I've come in here with her to hopefully keep her from hurting herself because she's just she wants out, but we can't let her out. And she'll get hurt even worse if that's the case. See, she's pretty wobbly. It's all right, baby. Come here. All right. Dr. Priestley's here to see our sweet pig, Trudy, and check out this lump that's on her. Did you see a wound on her? No wound. And we thought it would go down, you know, we thought maybe she got stepped on or bit or anything like that, but there was never any opening, no oozing, no drainage, and it hasn't changed shape or size or density or anything. It just feels exactly the same. Uh, so we're going to give Trudy a little bit of medication to relax her. All right. And then we're most suspicious of an abscess, so we're going to cut it open and see what we find on the inside. Yay! Oh boy, with an audience. Maggie, leave her alone. Two. They said she's over 200 pounds now. Yeah, she's a big girl now. Now the question is, is she going to be well enough for us to poke her? I don't know. All right, so we've moved to the barn after chasing Trudy all over the pastures and every other space that we had. Trudy had about a dozen cookies. Did not help the cause, but Dr. Priestley was able to tranquilize her. So now Courtney is shaving pig Trudy because they are going to, I think Dr. Priestley is going to lance this open and see what's inside. Pig Trudy is still, away but she is out of it and Cornholio just wants to come in and love on these ladies feet he is super super mad that I kicked him out good girl pig Trudy your daddy loves you he sends his love he's all worried sending text messages while he's getting ready to drive a bus and finish up his day So we don't know how this got here, but it just hasn't gone away. So, so it's concerning. We just wanted to get it taken care of. So our favorite, Dr. Priestley, was kind enough to rush out here whenever I sent her a text and sent her a send help video. It's okay, baby. Big abscess. Are you okay? Yeah, oh no, I just look like that. That was a mess of my pants. Aww. So it's not as it's more of a chemotoma. Aww. So it was, she probably did get stepped on then. Probably did, it's not abs. Not abs not, yeah. Aww. Okay. We love you, big Trudy. You're gonna sleep for a while. Yes, ma'am. So what Dr. Felicity is doing right now is 
feeling inside to make sure that nothing is perforated, any of her organs, basically. And it is a pretty, pretty big hematoma is what she called it. So basically, Big Trudy probably got stepped on by one of the bigs and it is like a bruise, so it swells up. The good news was that it wasn't full of pus or infection, so it was not abscessed, which is probably why she has felt fine, to be honest. And now Dr. Priestley is making a place so that this continues to drain and she'll put, she'll put a drain in it. So naturally her body will create more fluid around it to help it heal. But the reason it kept getting, or was it stayed big is because it didn't have a way to drain. Now if it would have stayed like that, it could have gotten infected and could have made her really sick and potentially killed her. So now with the drain in it, any other fluid can drain out and it will eventually heal. Big Trudy is still resting comfortably. She's gonna need extra love. And like I said, this tube will allow any additional fluid to drain out so it doesn't cause an infection for Big Trudy and it will not basically blow up again like it was. I know that they're gonna give her some antibiotics and some pain meds to get her through. So Dr. Priestley is looking for a vein to give Pig Trudy her antibiotic. And she chose this antibiotic because it's longer lasting than the penicillin that we normally give. Well, I'm actually giving her Banamine right now. Oh. And then her antibiotic's gonna go in her neck. Well, I'm a liar. <laughs> so Banamine is a, um, it's an anti-inflammatory and a pain med. So it's kind of like ibuprofen for humans. because poor Dr. Priestley has been here since the beginning and she has watched us with our ragtagness of not having a barn to just having a shell of a barn to now having... I'll tell you, when I did Dan, this wasn't covered. Yeah. And there was that one little area where yeah. Ringo was. Ringo was over there and Dan was right over here. Still had grass. We didn't have a, a roof over the middle yet. So each time she comes out, we've progressed. But it's funny to me because we always end up right here. That is her antibiotic. And then we're also gonna give her a tetanus shot. All right. She's gonna have an open wound. We're getting her all fixed up. So now she is going to rinse out her wound, I believe. So do you do this to a lot of pigs, Dr. Priestley? Um, not a lot. More the dog. <laughs> Well, we think that Pig Trudy's kind of like a dog. We actually think she's smarter than our dogs. Oh, I don't doubt that. I actually had a pretty big one. I had to get on a horse one. Really? Yeah. All right, so I mixed together some more high solution just to loosen it down to be this light blue color. And we're going to flush this out twice a day. Because I'm going to stick it into the drain tube. You want to put it right behind the drain tube. Okay. So Dr. Priestley's telling me that somehow I have to get Pig Trudy on her side like this twice a day to rinse out her drain area. Boy, Lester's gonna really love to hear this news. He's gonna be so, so, so excited. <laughs> I have a feeling there's a lot of cookies in Pig Trudy's future. <laughs> so how long does the drain stay in? Three to five days. Okay. Priestley is like full on messing with her. 
sorry, Trudy Poo. You're a good girl, baby. Oh, we rolled her over. Aw. Got her upright so that drain can start working. Big Trudy, you have a good nap, baby. Oh, she's gonna be mad at me whenever she wakes up. All right, so Big Trudy had a tranquilizer and she's gonna have a rough couple hours tonight. Y'all gave her a shot and it tranquilized her? Yeah, and so her wake up is gonna be pretty groggy. And the bad part is to get her to come near us, yeah, she's gonna be really, yeah, it's not gonna be good. She ate like uh, probably six or seven cookies, so she's probably gonna throw up as well because she's gonna be groggy and just not well. All right, so it looks like y'all shaved it. So yeah, so they shaved it, they lanced it, and then she has a drain in her. And that drain goes in and out of her in two spots. It's held on by stitches, and we have to flush it out twice a day. When you say flush, oh you baby, just leave her, I think you should leave her alone. So we have a cleaning solution that we have to put in a syringe and literally lift up her skin and clean it out. Just gotta watch it. And Dr. Priestley thought that it would be a good idea to just keep her in here for this time. For how many days? Three. Okay. So I know well, she's not gonna be real happy about that, but. Uh, can we have a friend in here with her? Yeah, but okay. nobody that's gonna ram her. No, no Ringo. But she does think that she either got rammed and got stuck on something or got stepped on. So it was just like a big blood blister then? Pretty much, yeah. So nothing bad? No infection, which she was really pleased to see. No, nothing oozy and anything like that. So um, just, a, it's called a hematoma, which is basically like a giant bruise. And the body's natural reaction is to put, to create fluid around. It's like a blister in yeah, your shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pig Trudy is starting to come too. And she's having a really tough time. She's pretty wobbly. And she's pretty confused. And uh, she doesn't know why she's stuck in here. There's food around her, but she's probably not going to eat. And um, she keeps running into some walls and stuff. So I've I've come in here with her to hopefully keep her from hurting herself. Because she's just she wants out. But we can't let her out. And she'll get hurt even worse if that's the case. See, she's pretty wobbly. It's all right, baby. Come here. Come here, lovely. Oh, I know, baby. Okay. 